Yo, what to do, YouTube? David Bro here, Minutes Effects Productions. I'm gonna bring a quick tutorial at you, nothing real big. Um, basically showing you how, how to make a drum track in Fruity Loops and, you know what I'm saying, like maybe how to make like hot drums or just, you know, stacking, layering, different things to kind of make your drum sound better too. So it's gonna be something easy just to make. So if you don't know how to make a drum track, you know, you'll learn from here. And then something, hopefully, if you already do know, you know, maybe you can you can beef up your drums a little bit, maybe help you, hopefully. If not, you know, oh well. But um, go ahead and open up FL Studio 8. All right, so, I mean, you have your normal stock sounds in there. You, you need to get something different. And, I mean, I suggest for Fruity Loops users, check out warbeats.com. They got plenty of tutorials up there as well. And then they have stuff for members. Even if you're not a member, I mean, you can download kits and stuff like that. So to help help out with your drum library a little bit. But let me see. You can see the regular stuff's pretty shitty. So first thing first, we're gonna we're gonna find some better drums. This is a little kit I have right here. I'm gonna check some kicks. I like that. It's got some static on it as well. I'm gonna find another kick to help accentuate it a little bit. I like that right there. Drag and drop. You see. So now we're gonna put like either snare. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a clap and a snare. I'm gonna show you how layer, layering helps out with different effects. That's a good little clap. I'm really just looking for like a hard little snare, something short. Can use that one. All right, now find some percussion, some little shakers. Like a, I think it might be like a closed hat or something. There we go. There we go. So, you know, we got a couple sounds to work with. First thing first, I'm going to change the tempo. You know, you can just click here and drag up and down, however you want. I like working with, you know, 80, 85 to 92. That's usually the range I like to work with. Sometimes I do slower, maybe a little faster, but this is kind of like home for me. So, now, so our first kick, drop it on, on the one and the three. Throw a little snare here on the two and the four. Just kind of feel that for a second. So you got that going. Now watch what happens when you throw that kick in there. And yeah, you can compress your stuff, but you know, you can do this as well. Throw in a clap. So you got, you know, a good little bounce right there. Anytime you um, you lay some kicks right next to each other, you kind of want to change the velocity. You don't want them to be the same. You can just drop the second one a little bit because if you hit twice in a row in the same spot, it's not going to be as hard more than likely. But um, gives you a little more human feel to it. Let's see what else we can do. Go ahead and play this and just mess with it for a minute.
So right there, you got, you know, the basics of a pretty decent track. I'm going to take these uh, little hats and I'm going to throw a little echo on it, delay, put me about 10. I'm just going to adjust some volumes real quick while it plays. So, I mean, there you go. That's a nice little little drum right there. Let's see if we can't just throw something over it real fast. What the hell is a sampler? See what we're working at with the tempo. 98. All right. I mean, as you can see, the drums don't match up that good with it, but just to give you a feel, I mean, the drums aren't too bad. It's a little fast now for my taste, but... And there you go. That's how you make a drum track. Um, let me know if you got any questions. If you like the video, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, tell me what you like, what you didn't like. And uh, let me know if y'all need help with anything. Peace.